In this video, we take a detailed look at a 1970s Evans, modernised in the early 2000s by Shit Generic, and very sadly, it's recently been refurbished again. Very disappointing. The building that this lift is in is really, really grotty, and these lifts used to look quite grotty and really match a building, but sadly, they've recently refurbished and they haven't done that much, but they've brightened them up and they've added metal panelling inside, making lifts sort of look a bit shiny and a bit boring -y, really. Really disappointing, it just doesn't match a grotty of this building anymore. But anyway, mechanically, these lifts haven't changed since the early 2000s mod. So then, these are some really nice 1970s Evans and were originally single speed. And these lifts are really slow. They go just one third of a metre a second, which is slow even for a single speed lift, because usually most of Evans single speed lifts used to go three quarters of a metre a second, which is pretty much as fast as you can go with single speed. But for some reason, this place, since it's such a cheap, grotty place, even cheapened out on their lifts. And these lifts are really slow, especially for a number of floors they serve. But what's really odd is that the service lift here actually has the Evans two-stage motor which levels and is a far superior lift which is quite odd it's like the other way around to most places where the passenger lifts are usually the fast ones at level and it's the service ones at single speed but no it's the other way around in this building so then in the early 2000s these lifts were modernized by the really crap company DNA lifts and they added variable fencing mods and now they speed up and slow down in a boring way but not as boring as some of the more modern variable fencing mods which really make the lifts really dull I still have quite a bit of character so then let's take a look on top of these lifts and sadly a bit clear on top of these lifts it wasn't as grotty as i would have liked all of the handrails and various bits have all been painted color coded like health and safety and how it should be which is disappointing i thought these would be epic and grotty anyway these lifts have two to one cabling and another interesting thing is they have this weird self oiling where the lift runs along the tracks so then let's now make this lift move and the slow speed that it runs in on manual mode is the same speed as the full speed since generally speaking with variable fencing mods they run the lift at one third of a meter a second in manual mode and that's the speed of the lift so then, first let's ride this lift in manual mode. Now, let's take a ride on top of this lift in automatic mode. And I'll stop it there as we're now coming down to the next floor and I don't really want anyone to see me through the little window in the lift doors. And although the top floor is completely deserted in this building, the other floors do have people on and I was a bit too much of a chicken to ride the lift the entire way. And now, if we take a look at a lift shaft, look at what is on the ceiling. A trap door into the motor room. But very annoyingly, I didn't manage to get up there. Because on top of the lift, when you start driving upwards, it refuses to go all the way to the top in manual mode. So, and I could not reach a trap. So one is for a lift to be on automatic mode. I have someone in the lift taking it all the way up to the top floor so I could then reach it. But even then, I don't think I'd quite managed to get through the trap door. So what I need is a ladder. That is going to be rather dodgy. Oh, but I just so much want to get into this motor room. I'll be back.